we got to get Desmond Howard on the phone, and he joins me now here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Desmond? Rich, I'm, I'm doing fantastic, my man. I, I mean, I'm, I'm all smiles over here. How you doing, buddy? I am. Uh, I'm uncontrollable, uh, and it's uh, the show has a radio affiliate in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm hoping there's at least one listener left because I've been insufferable all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm just so excited, Des. Um, what what are your thoughts with Jim Harbaugh named the new head coach at Michigan? I'm gonna tell you what. You know, I was a little. Uh, well, you know, Jim's a, a fantastic coach. There's no doubt about that. He's had success at every level. Um, obviously, at San Diego, at uh, Stanford, and of course, at uh, San Francisco. So we we knew we were getting a good coach. You know, there was some some questions that I had, and I thought that he really answered those questions in his press conference. He was, um, you know, one question that a lot of people talked about was, does he really want to go back to college? Isn't he a guy who, who loves the NFL now and he wants to stay there? And I thought during the press conference he talked about um, when he got to Ann Arbor and he got this gift bag and he watched his children put on like the amazing blue hat and the, the Michigan scarf and the things that were in the back, the jacket, and how the nostalgia just like came over him. And he started to go back to his days up in Ann Arbor when he would want to go into like um, a store and get some paraphernalia and how great it felt to put on a Michigan T-shirt or something of that magnitude. For people who have children, that's such a strong statement. I tried to explain to people before the press conference that a moment like that, I said going back to Ann Arbor, reliving your youth, reliving those days, you know, that may be something that's a stronger pull on him than just coaching in the NFL. So yes. when he made that comment during the press conference, I was like, you know, there's no doubt he wants to be in Ann Arbor as the head coach. Yeah, and he didn't take the bait either, Desmond, about sending a message to Michigan State and Ohio State. But you just know 331 days from now, how do you think Harbaugh is going to handle Ohio State week, Desmond Howard? You know what? You, you, you hit it on the head. He didn't take the bait. I mean, he handled that press con the, uh, the presser with such poise and – and, um, and just professionalism, but you know that Jim Harbaugh cannot wait to get in that meeting room and start talking to those kids about beating that team up in East Lansing, beating that team down in Columbus. I mean, he's uber competitive. So, I mean, it's just his blood is going to start to boil when he's talking about beating Sparty and beating the Buckeyes. There's no no doubt about that. That's why you and I have big smiles on our face. Listen, Des, I know you're real exactly. busy. You're down here in Southern California getting set to cover the Rose Bowl uh, for, for ESPN. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you before I let you go how you think uh, Oregon, Florida State is going to play out uh, in the Rose Bowl come Thursday. Rich, I'm still trying to figure that one out. I'm not, I mean, I, I was at the Clippers game last night and uh, I was talking to some people and everyone uh, that I spoke to asked me that question. I said, I'm trying to figure it out because the one thing that you, you, you that's in the back of my mind is that you, you talk about this kid, Jameis Winston, and there's one thing about him that you always got to remember. He's a winner. He, he, always wills his team to victory. They always find a way. It's such a resilient ball club. So, you know, I know that Marcus Mariota and the Oregon Ducks, and they have a, an explosive offense, and once they get rolling, you know, it's just really hard to stop them. But, man, this Florida State team, especially with Jameis Winston, at quarterback, it's, it's really hard to, to, to go against them. So I'm still trying to figure this one out. I, I may be leaning towards the Seminoles right now, but I haven't made a decision yet because Marcus Mariota is a freak of an athlete, the quarterback position, and uh, to see the two latest highs the trophy winners go head to head is going to be just so exciting. Desmond, thanks for calling in, and of course, go blue. Go blue. Oh, man, yes, sir. My pleasure. Anytime, Rich. You bet. That's Desmond Howard. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.